Hello and welcome to a new Unity FT Designer video tutorial. My name is Jonas and I'm working for Electronic Assembly's development team. The today's topic is a quick overview about the features and possibilities of the Unity FT Designer. I will explain the functionality of the designer, including the help functions. Therefore, we will create a new project that will have a bar graph to control the brightness of the module. The last point is the verification of the project in the simulator. We create a new project. A wizard pops up. We see all currently available modules of the Unity FT series, from the smallest 2 inch to the largest 10.1 inch module. I'm selecting the mid sized 5 inch. The next step asks for the style. The styles define the templates for colors, fonts, and for example, buttons. Of course, these templates are changeable and customized later. You can fully customize the style to your company's corporate design and export it to reuse it in other projects later. I'm selecting the orange style. Last step, the wizard asks for the project name and storage path. Clicking OK opens the new project. The Unity FT Designer has six major areas. The project tree, the toolbox, Object Property Editor, Macro Editor, Screen Area, and the Menu Bar. The toolbox includes all graphical objects, like labels, pictures, bar graphs, touch keys, spin boxes, meter, diagrams, and many more. You can simply drag and drop an object to a screen. I place a simple label. On the right, there is the object editor. All properties of the object are listed here. I want to change the font, selecting a bigger one. To change the text, you can either edit the object in the editor or simply double click on the label. Beside the label, we need a bar graph to set the brightness. I make it exactly 700 dots wide and give the bar a nice name. To center vertically, I select Alignment and click this button. In the Object Editor, there are the parameters for macros. Macros are small functions that can be called on events. So on the dragging event, I want to call a new macro. In the bottom area, the new macro appears. I type in the command to set the brightness of the module. Where you find the comments, I will explain later. The project tree has the point macros. I select to change the macros name. Last but not least, we need to initialize the bar graph during runtime to have the actual brightness value on screen start. We select the screen. In the object editor, it's a property screen initialization. We need again a short comment. Now we are good to go and can test our project. Just select the simulation icon or press shortcut F6. A new window shows up showing our simulator. The mouse simulates the user inputs. Other peripherals can be used too. For the IOs, checkboxes and bulbs are available as status information. The analog inputs are simulated by sliders. PVM with its pulse pulse ratio in the graphic window at the bottom left. Additionally, we have integrated debugging tools. We have a live view of the registers, string registers, variables, and data arrays. So far, our first project works. Now I would like to show you where you can find help. We have summarized five places for this purpose. Example project, instruction videos, help file, status line, syntax highlighting with auto-completion, and command help. On the welcome page, you will find the section example. Here you find small commented example projects for almost every function. You can search in the projects and sort them by family. On the mouse hover event, a short screen video is played so you know what happens in the example. With a simple click, the project is opened. 
The second point are the instruction videos. Here you find short videos explaining several topics concerning the Unity FT and the designer. Sometimes the video tutorial comes with an example project that can be opened through the folder icon. The help file is an offline version of the datasheet. You find the complete information about the Unity FT series, including dimensions, pinout and command set. The last three points are combined in the macro editor. After typing hash, there is a list popping up showing available commands. I want to set a variable here. Please have a look to the status line. There are the parameters listed. You also have a tooltip that explains the calculation command in a short way. With register usage, there is the possibility to use beautified names and initialize the variable. You have to open the register and name definitions tab. New variables are defined here. To get a deeper insight into the used command, just press F1 and the head files opens on the correct position. I hope you enjoyed the today's Unity FT Designer tutorial. Maybe you have time and play around a little bit with our other sample projects and enjoy our video tutorials.